Hi, my name is Dan Del Bianco, Executive Director of the Pittsburgh Vintage Grand Prix, here in the American Car Show in the Corvette section. This is the 40th annual Pittsburgh Vintage Grand Prix here at Shenley Park. Glad to celebrate that many years of uh, success with wonderful sponsors and volunteers. And it's all about charity, and we just surpassed the $6 million mark earlier this year to our two charities. And it's a, it's a wonderful event with wonderful people. So, so the event started 40 years ago. A small group of people actually thought about racing cars through Shenley Park because if you actually have ever driven these city streets on your own, it feels like a natural track with the amphitheater setting of the golf course around it. And so one of the founders uh, would drive it on the way to work and said, someday we need to do a, a race there, Art McGovern. And so got it started back when Richard Calagiri was the mayor. And, the idea was for a one-day race in September 1983 to raise money for a charity, and it's the same two charities, the Autism Society of Pittsburgh and Allegheny Valley School Marikee. So we have a sponsor of our winner's circle, it's Helltown Brewing, and so the winners get uh, a checkered flag, and then the top three finishers all get a case of, of Helltown beer, and this year uh, they made a special case with the Grand Prix poster car on. So our website's easy to find, pvgp.org, which stands for Pittsburgh Vintage Grand Prix, and it's a, it's a pretty extensive website because it's an extensive event. It's 10 days of events. It's not just these two final days here in Shenley Park. We have races the first weekend out at Pittsburgh International Race Complex. We have a black tie party. We have parades and car shows and a tune-up. We even have a hangar party uh, that we did at the Butler Airport this year. So it's 10 days are jam-packed with activities. Hi, my name's Steve Maynard. This is my 64th birthday present to myself. This is a GT4 Porsche. It's unbelievably fast. It's the modest car that I have right now. Uh, it's blue and green with the green stripes and there's green stitching in it. It's uh, 400 some horses, a little, say 3,000 pounds. Definitely get you in trouble real fast. I already have a ticket. And, uh, my wife gets mad at me quite often when I'm driving it because I drive probably a little faster than I should. Uh, this is the Porsche Club here in Pittsburgh. And we have food going on. This is a fundraiser for children, I believe. It's a fundraiser for somebody, I'm sure. We do a lot of different fundraisers. You can't keep track of them all. Uh, but it's a lot of fun to drive. We've been here for two days in a row. We did the black tie stuff down the south side. And uh, uh, an event up at Butler Airport. We live in Adams Township in the north hills of Pittsburgh. Uh, we spend a lot of time with different fundraisers and organizations. And, uh, it's just a pleasure to be here. And, uh, if you look around, there's probably a little over 3,000 cars here today. All different types from uh, American cars to European cars. From cars that cost maybe a couple hundred dollars to cars that cost over millions of dollars. There's quite a collection of people here. Uh, in Porsche Club, we have 60 cars that came in from all over the world. Uh, 928 Porsches uh, from all over the USA, Texas, California, Michigan, Maryland, Virginia. Uh, there's, uh, I guess most of them gone, but there's a large section of them over here to our, our left. Uh, but this here is a GT4, which is what they call a Cayman. It's a mid-engine car. It has a trunk, front and back. Uh, I'm, uh, uh, as far as I just go in general, I've uh, never been a car guy, a little piss of head my whole life. I also drive a 47 Cornwall tractor I still cut grass with, which is probably one of the coolest things to drive. Uh, I have old Corvettes and the PR6 that I just finished. A guy named Snake, Dave, uh, built it for me. Help me out, he's, a, uh, he's 82 years old. He's still he's a real race car driver. He has multiple 944s. Uh, you can hear the race cars going behind you right here in Pittsburgh. This is Pittsburgh Grand Prix going on right now. This is probably one of the, the third largest car collection you'll see right now. America going on, so this is a great event. We support tons of uh, children here at this event, and uh, believe it or not, everybody here is out of the goodness of the heart to help people. Uh, I haven't named her yet. <laughs> I just got it a few months ago, actually. And, uh, Engine, six cylinder. It's an aspirated engine, six cylinder. You can 
can see the door panels here for shut door is actually just a strap. It has all green stitch and you go with the green stripes. It's all suede interior. I have gloves so I don't put too many uh, oil grips on it. It has backup cameras. It's just one heck of a ride. When the ascent's coming around, sliding around two turns, it's accelerating. Opportunity when I met Daniel Bianco and Bernie Martin about a decade ago. I actually worked on the website at that time with my own small business that I had. Um, and then they asked me to help with the media tent uh, about six or seven years ago. I've been doing it since ever since. Cool. So, how long have you been racing? Um, I've been racing for about two decades. I actually started out in uh, SECA Autocross, um, then bought this car in 2018 when they first came out, and um, have gone moved on to the time trials. Have you ever raced here yet? No. No, it's on my bucket list. So. Maybe next year. Maybe next year. Maybe you'll see. Yeah. If, I, if I'm not working media, yeah, then I'm out on the racetrack. Cool. So far, 20 in Pittsburgh Vintage Grand Prix. I appreciate the crowd. The Pittsburgh crowd is awesome. All the marshals, everybody involved. The venue is beautiful. So what did you name her? Uh, you know, it does not have a name. We've, we've been toying with calling it Blue Spark. So uh, where can people find you racing at? Hmm? Where can people find you racing at? Um, so you can find me racing as a pit race. I do time trials. I'll actually be at Mid Ohio Racetrack on Friday. Magic transponder in there. Thanks for watching the video. Make sure you hit the like button and subscribe to the channel so I can bring you more videos on subjects like this and many other topics. Please leave any comments in the in the comment section. Any questions or comments, I'll get back to them as soon as I possibly can. Thanks a lot for watching. Hope you have a great day and I'll see you in the next video.